Welcome back to Cox Connections, a program that provides up-to-date information on events that affect you, our customers. The Hampton Roads Chamber of Commerce is the region's premier business organization, helping members succeed, driving regional economic growth, and enhancing the quality of life for our community's residents. One of the Chamber's strongest current initiatives is becoming a link between the military and the business community. Joining me in the studio is Priscilla Monte, Vice President of Programs for the Hampton Roads Chamber of Commerce. Priscilla, welcome to the show. Thanks, Emma. So, tell us a little bit about the multifaceted mission of the Hampton Roads Chamber of Commerce. Emma, the Hampton Roads Chamber of Commerce is dedicated to all the men and women of the military and their families who call Hampton Roads home. We're focused on improving the quality of life for those families while they're stationed here and hopefully that they will then decide to make this their permanent home. We help by acting as a liaison between the military and the workforce. Our members of the Hampton Roads Chamber of Commerce represent businesses large and small. Every possible type of business you can imagine is part of the chamber. And so whatever their skill set is, we can find a position and help link them with those open positions. And most importantly, it helps the business community because this is a highly trained workforce. And we want are, to keep those folks we, here. We really do because when you look at the training that they have, not only do they have a plethora of skills, they've got dedication and teamwork and integrity and all the qualities that help any business succeed. So your CEO and president is a 28-year veteran of the Army, and he has a great passion and understanding of the military veterans and their families. How is this translating into what the Chamber does? Well, it's, it's an honor to work for Brian Stevens. He is a former Army Ranger, and, uh, you know, so we are his, you know, <laughs> team in the field, you know, and, and so we're all learning the Army lingo as we're working for Brian. But most importantly, he brings a new level of understanding. When Brian first took over as CEO and president of the Hampton Roads Chamber of Commerce, he made it a priority to link the chamber and the businesses in Hampton Roads with the military. We have an armed forces committee that you know, is dedicated to just that. The bond has gotten so strong that, for example, when Admiral Philip Davidson took over command here at Norfolk Naval Station, he made his first address to the business community with the help of the Hampton Roads Chamber of Commerce. He knew how important it was to get out in front and, and talk about the needs of the military to the business community, and we were honored to facilitate that. And of course, the Chamber um, recognizes, there's an incredible event that the Chamber holds that recognizes the servicemen and women here. Tell us a little bit about that. We do, and these, uh, you know, we do 170 events a year, and by far, these are our favorite events. We do two military recognition ceremonies, one in August and one in April, and then a Virginia Beach Armed Forces uh, recognition ceremony as well. And at these ceremonies, the each command honors the, the tops in their command. And so we provide the certificates and the ballroom and the venue and the food and all that. But it, it's a moment for the community, the business community to say, thank you. You are doing an amazing job. We are honored to have you here and we want to honor you. One of your main initiatives um, is helping service members have a smooth transition once they decide to leave the military. We've talked a little bit about that already, but I know in addition to helping folks transition into the workforce, there also are some programs that the Chamber offers that help military men and women who have an entrepreneurial spirit. Tell me a little bit right. more about that. Right, for those that. military men and women who have been on the ship and have been fabricating in their brain exactly what they want to do when they get out, how they want to use their skill set to go in business for themselves. We have our Small Business Development Center and it is free to use for any chamber member. And basically what they help you do, they will mentor and we have protégés and, and they will help you run your business and you're partnered for three years because it takes three years if, if you are successful after three years studies show you you got You've it, made it. You, you're going to make it you know because you may get out of the military and be the best cake decorator or the best you know you might have 
hair cutting skills or something like that, but you might not know how to run a business. And so what the Small Business Development Center can do is help you to run that business, to the business of the business, marketing plans and, and how you're going to get your message out and you know where you want to be located. All of those things can really help determine whether a business is going to succeed or fail. So all of those skills around marketing and attracting and keeping your customers mm -hmm. definitely sounds like a really incredible program. Tell us about how the Chamber works with Wounded Warriors. This is another thing that we are so honored to do and I've been very fortunate to be a big part of this. We work with the Portsmouth Naval Medical Center and um, a short while ago, several of us took our military partners, the, the men and women who sponsor our military events, and, and we toured and we sat down with them and talked about how can we help this very specific set of military members, how can we help them transition into the workforce? So we do several things. One of the things we do is we have, we invite wounded warriors to all of our major events. We have wounded warrior tables so that the business community will have a member of the wounded warrior community sitting at their table. They can talk about the, you know, to each other, here's my story, here's what happened, here's what I want to do. And all of a sudden it's not so frightening to have to be starting that second career. The thing that makes the Wounded Warriors different is that quite often their career is ending much Earlier faster than, than anybody had anticipated. Mm -hmm. uh, we do a, a golf tournament to raise funds for Wounded Warriors. We had Lieutenant Jason Redman as one of our speakers for our Chamber Leadership Series. And we're just really working to solidify that bond between the business community and these wounded warriors so that they will be recognized as a very vital workforce. Again, well-trained, ready to go do the job. The business community just needs to know they're there and put them into the openings. Well, Priscilla, thank you so much for all of the work that you and the Chamber are doing to really help our region maintain this incredibly skilled workforce that we have. Thank you so much for being here and talking with us about it today. Thanks, Emma. Honored to do so. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Cox Connections. As always, I want to personally thank you for choosing Cox Communications for your entertainment, information, and communication needs. We know you could have chosen another provider, but because you chose us, we pledge to be a friend you can trust. We promise to provide you with innovative products backed up by a talented local team of professionals that will help you stretch your dollar. And we promise to continue to make a difference in the Hampton Roads community. From all your friends and neighbors here at Cox, thank you again for joining us on this edition of Cox Connections.